So for the past year I have had this ThinkPad X3 Yoga, which is pretty cool, but sadly the laptop is French and Azert is not a normal keyboard layout. The hell is Edgeup? Just kidding, I'm not against French people, just don't cut my head off. This ThinkPad came out in 2018 and according to ChatGPT I have the maxed out model, so I am rich. Since this is a ThinkPad, I did not install Arch Linux. Dobra panowie, instalować Arch Linuxa? Yy, dobra. With the accomplishment of downloading Arch Linux, I am getting a little bit closer to becoming a fanboy. Not only I'm Polish, but I'm also a programmer, now also using Arch Linux. Holy, Holy shit. shit! As mentioned in the title, I have barely any experience with Linux. I only used Mint for a while, which is, well, pretty easy to use. So what I'm trying to say is that I have almost an hour of footage of me trying to install Arch. Around halfway through the installation process, I realized that Arch install exists and didn't manage to install anything, because I'm simply not ready for the Arch Linux experience. The next day I tried Arch install again and it worked, but I didn't have Wi-Fi. And this laptop's Ethernet port is, you know, it leaves something to be desired. Thankfully I managed to get it working, I didn't record it though. The next day I thought to myself, I'm gonna reinstall Arch Linux and I reinstalled it. Without KDE this time. I installed i3 Window Manager. It literally has no desktop, you need to do everything in a console. And yes, the background of my console is an anime girl. It's Arch Linux, you know, I need it to. The console background also refers to the meme that I put in the video earlier. What you're seeing now is me trying to install Steam and thankfully not failing. I got a little bit angry. Therefore I installed Arch Linux on my main PC instead of Windows. To be more specific, I installed Endeavor OS, which I do not know if I'm pronouncing correctly. If you think that I'm cheating, just think of it like that. I gave it the best case scenario and that I liked Linux so much that I absolutely annihilated Windows from my disk. Plus, the system is Arch based. For the first game I chose Dirt Rally 2.0 because I thought to myself, ha, huh, it probably won't look because it's an EA game, and you know what? It even ran well. I didn't record me playing this game, I recorded the benchmark, and the benchmark didn't run as well as the normal game, but believe me when I say it, the normal game ran very well. I could easily tell that it ran at like 60 FPS, which is actually nothing comparing to the 120 on ultra settings when I was playing on Windows, but still, it ran well. Needless to say, I was pleasantly surprised that it even launched. And for the next game, I chose something that is, well, I think more demanding and also runs natively on Linux, Metro Exodus. And as I said, it runs natively, therefore it ran great, definitely above 100 FPS with ultra settings on. Also, because I am lazy, here are some honorable mentions that I did not record. Minecraft Bedrock, which doesn't run natively, ran great. Roblox, which it doesn't run natively either, also ran great. Even better than on Windows. And my favorite of all time, well not my favorite because I fucking hate this game, CS2, it also ran amazingly. Okay, so in conclusion, I enjoyed Linux. The only problem I have with it is that my capture card that I just bought recently uh, doesn't work with the system, which is not cool. Not, not cool at all, actually. But overall, as I said, it's really good. I actually prefer it over Windows now. Only if my capture card was working.